Question number two, the Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, my question is uh, to sorry, the Prime Minister. Does she stand by all her government's statements and actions? Uh, on behalf of the, the Prime Honourable Minister, Grant Robinson. On behalf of the Prime Minister, yes, with the possible exception of the last one. <laughs> Will the three strikes law be reviewed by her government before the next election? Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, uh, we are putting together a package of justice reforms. It is clear that at this time, uh, one partner in the coalition government does not want to see the three strikes as part of that, but that package of, of reforms will come forward in the short term. So will the package of reforms come forward without the three strikes law being reformed? Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, uh, it is quite clear that the three strikes law does not have the support of one of the members of the coalition government at this time. The full package of reforms that will be put forward uh, as we come towards the summit in August will be about the wide range of issues that are needed to be addressed to improve our criminal justice system. The three strikes law is a very, very small part of a wider picture where most New Zealanders understand we need to do far, far better than we have in recent years. Does her government expect her coalition partner to change their mind before the next election uh, and the three strikes law be reviewed? Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, that's a matter for the coalition partner. What did she mean yesterday when she said, of course that law will be looked at, and how does this reconcile with Mr Peter's view that there will be no changes to the three strikes law? Uh, on behalf of the Prime Minister, Mr Speaker, it's the job of any responsible government to continually monitor how laws are being implemented. Has she considered making Mr Peters the Minister of Justice, as he seems to be the only one that knows what's going on? Oh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, uh, the uh, Minister of Justice, uh, the Honourable Andrew Little, is doing an excellent job in finally addressing the complete failure that has been left by the previous government that allowed the prison population to grow, had no plan to address the underlying causes of crime and no vision for a future in New Zealand when we're actually more safe and secure, not just building American-style mega-prisons. So does she stand by her Minister of Justice, who on Radio New Zealand said in the context of a question um, in regards to the Prime Minister that she talked about it being pushed back a few years, so that's not off the table? And if so, is that because you're hoping for a new coalition partner who might, vi might fight for it? Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, what I'm very confident of is that on this side of the House, we have a coalition government that shares one very important thing. We can do so much better than the last lot. So how many reviews, working groups, inquiries, special summits, teams, reference groups, advisory groups, expert advisory groups, independent expert advisory groups, lived experience task forces and other loose gatherings of paid contractors has the government established to date? Oh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, the number of reviews being undertaken by the government at this point in our time is very similar to the number of reviews that were undertaken by the previous uh, government in their first days. But, Mr Speaker, what I would add to that is to say that actually when you come in and see so much to be done, so many areas underfunded, so many programmes not delivered on, you do Order. need to get some help to do that. Order. I just both sides. Can they just wind it back a bit, Paula Bennett? Uh, does she agree with her minister for regional economic development, who said in a speech at Field Days this morning, "quote I agree with Mike Hosking that this government is setting up too many working groups." Uh, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, I haven't seen those comments from the Minister of Regional Development, but what I do know is that working closely with him and with other partners in this government, we are starting to address the issues that were left behind by the previous government. And if the, minute, if the member doesn't think that it's important to understand what a shambles she made of meth testing, then perhaps she does have to have another think. 
point of order, Mr. Speaker. A point of order, the Honourable Porter. Um, I asked quite a straight question about whether or not um, she agreed with the comments of her economic development. That was answered in the first part, and I don't believe that the second part was necessary at all. Yeah, I, I do. I do agree with the Honourable Paula Bennett. It, it wasn't necessary, and the Minister should remember he's answering for the Prime Minister, who uh, told us of her kind approach. Paula Bennett. Thank you. Question number three, the Honourable Judith Collins. Mr.